If you don't like having cold hands when riding your motorbike, watch this video. I'm going to show you how to get rid of cold hands forever. So today I'm going to be looking at the Furigan Heat X Kevlar gloves from Furigan. Now it has Kevlar in the name, but it's not for abrasion resistance in the typical crashing and protecting sense. It's actually there to help with the heating technology. There's a two wire system that runs down each of the fingers and it runs down and over the fingertip. When you're riding a motorbike and you're holding onto the handlebars like this, all the wind is hitting the outside. Heated grips are very, very good at heating the inside of your hands. But what you need is that protection on the outside, exactly what these gloves offer. Those dual strands of wires going up and over each finger are covered in like a Kevlar and carbon weave. That just helps with heat dissipation and whatnot so that it, it dissipates the heat more evenly over your hand. There you go. Got a soft neoprene like finish to the outside of it. I don't know if it actually is neoprene, I didn't check. Um, we've got a circuit boardy type design on the outer here, which also extends around to the inner and down the thumb. This here is your knuckle armor. It's a D3O armor. It's quite soft and supple. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not like a hard shell or anything, but it uh, will do the job. Hard and soft shell doesn't really make a difference, if I'm honest with you. They're going to protect to the level they're certified to. And if we flip over to the palm, we can see we have got a little touch tip point here. This allows us to use our phone screen or uh, some other screen whilst we have got our gloves on. Handy if you don't want to take your gloves off, but you still want to use your phone just quickly. Obviously, don't do it on the bike. Do it when you're stopped or something like that. Don't want to get in trouble. To fasten you into the glove, we have got a little Velcro with elasticator strap so that doesn't go walkies, and then a wider hook and loop system there. And it's very plush inside, very nice, soft and supple. Look at that, that closes up real nicely. These are waterproof, windproof, and also feature a soft shell inner as well. So they are a really good winter glove. But Furigan wanted them to take it to the next level, have added a heated element into the mix. So these do quite a lot against the cold. So let's take a look inside. So if we undo it, here we go. Now we get a battery in the box when we get these gloves. We also get a charging cable, which will charge two batteries at a time because we have two gloves. I've already fitted the battery into the cuff of this glove, but I'll show you how to do it here. There's a nice red waffly microfiber there, which is quite a cool little touch. Open up the cuff pocket. Inside we'll find a lead and we can plug our battery in and you'll notice actually the light here will turn green like that which just gives us a positive affirmation that the battery we have plugged in is okay and good to go. It doesn't mean it has a full charge mind, it just knows that there is power coming into the glove. Um, and I've been using these so I didn't charge them yet so the battery is going to be quite low. And I can check up on the battery status by using my telephone because these have app connectivity. Let's move that out of the way. Right, one thing that I really like about this glove is if I turn one glove on, it turns the other glove on. That's quite a nice feature. It means you can just, you know, if you've got the gloves on already, turn it on, boom, they're both on. Right, I've got the app set up. I'm in the app. I have connected the gloves. It actually walks you through step by step how to connect the gloves to the app when you first open the app. It's really simple. You basically just turn them on and wait. First settings you've got, we have got three functions here, 100, 70, and 50. These are your heat settings out of the box. And if you don't ever use the app, those are the heat settings that you will get when you first turn it on. And you can tell the difference between those heat modes because when you press the button, red for 100%, yellow for 70%, and green for 50%. Having the app unlocks a load of great features like the fact that we can add two more modes into this. So we can press the little plus button here and we can set the heat to whatever heat we'd like between five and 100% in 5% increments. And then we can set a color. So you get five modes, so they give you five colors, which does the job just well. And if I press that, the lights light up to a new blue color, which is quite cool. Let's say I've got my five modes here. Well, I've got four, but. I've got my modes and I don't actually ever use 100%. It's just too darn hot. What you can do, if you tap and hold the 100%, you get a menu, delete or update. So you can just delete it off and never use it again or update the heat. And you might just want to reduce it down to 80% because that might be a little bit more comfortable. So you do get a lot of options when customizing the modes on this, but it doesn't stop there. 
there's another mode down the bottom if you look here we have auto mode kind of does what it says in the tin really you set the temperature to the temperature that you would find comfortable all the way from 22 degrees up to 40 degrees and then the glove is just going to monitor the temperature inside itself and keep you at that temperature so it's going to do this by regulating the heat inside you'll also get a little bit more battery life out of it that way one way to see the battery life is if you look at the top of the app, we have got um, a little battery symbol, an L and an R, and that tells you 28% for each battery. Next to that is a clock. The clock tells you how much battery life you have left. One way you can visually see the estimations, 80% gives me 27 minutes and 30 minutes. If I put that down to 25%, that goes up to an hour and a half plus for both of those. So you can see roughly how long you've got left out of your batteries. So that's manual mode and auto mode. You've got something called smart move which you can turn on here and then if you go to the settings you can change the profiles you get three profiles now these gloves will turn off now that i've turned smart move setting on um, basically what smart move does is it works out what if you're moving um, or not and then it will turn them off if you've stopped moving so let's say you've stopped at a set of lights or you've got off the bike or you're on a long journey and you're just sat on the motorway depending on the parameters and depending on what profile you've got, it will just turn the gloves off and conserve heat. Then when it detects movement again, or you've started moving on the bike, or if you've uh, the bike's turned back on and it can feel the engine vibrations, they will turn back on. So they've turned off now. If I give these a good shake, they come back to life. So different profiles you can play around with there just to conserve a bit of uh, electricity and get the gloves to last a bit longer. Personally, my style of riding, which is a commute in the morning and the evening, doesn't really need this. I'm on the bike for 25 minutes, half an hour. So just having the heat on all the time works perfectly for me. Um, but again, if you're a commuter or a courier uh, riding for a long time, that might really help to extend your battery life a lot longer. If we come up to that settings cog again, you'll see we have preheat. Preheat is quite cool because what it means, you can set a day and time that you want the gloves to come on. They will then switch on for five minutes. So you could set this five minutes before you depart in the morning for your commute and you'll have nice, toasty, warm gloves to put your hands into. That's a really cool feature. I really like it. So if I set the time here for, let's go for Thursday at, uh, I'd love to be able to leave early, but let's just say nine o'clock. That means at nine o'clock, the gloves are gonna switch themselves on as long as they've got a battery plugged into them and they will preheat the gloves for five minutes. So when I leave at say, 10 past nine or even five past nine, uh, they're gonna be nice and warm and I'll have nice happy fingers before I leave the house. So rather than getting on the bike and having to warm everything up whilst you're moving, you have already got a head start on trying to keep yourself warm. The only thing I wish that Furigan would do was let you do like a weekly schedule. So if you know that like Monday to Friday, you're always gonna be out of the house by eight o'clock. And generally I try to stick to the same time every day when I leave for work. It'd be really helpful that I could set this up and I don't have to come in each day and then set a new time up. Um, they did tell me why they didn't do this. It's just in case you don't um, you don't go out for a ride or you forget that you've got the timer set up and then you end up wasting all of this heat. However, I just feel like most people would benefit from being able to set it up on a weekly schedule and just being able to ride to work and whatever. But it's a valid point they've got. Maybe if they get enough feedback, they might change it and allow us to program in a week's worth of heat cycles. But uh, still a cool feature and a nice step in the right direction. Let's turn that off before I get toasty hands in the morning. Uh, the only other things you can do in the app is if you have more than one pair of gloves, you can add them all in here. We can also turn the gloves off. Like so. And back on again if we want to. So we can do it a lot from the app. Uh, it's quite a cool feature. It's nice to see app connectivity coming into the motorbike world more and more. Um, previous brands have done it, but it's nice to see that more are picking up. And I think Furigan have done a really, really great job on bringing a fantastic set of heated gloves, but also a fantastic app integration as well. Sometimes these things are just clunky and don't work and are a bit rubbish. Let's be honest, motorbike kit companies are very good at making kit for motorcyclists. They're not tech companies that build apps and develop and all this sort of stuff. So to have a nice integration like this is really effective. Now, I'm gonna put my hands in these because it is a little bit chilly today and that is super, super nice and warm. If you like the video, please drop me a subscribe. It means that I get to have beans with my toast for dinner tonight. Oh, talking to toast, that is lovely. Anyway, ride safe, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.